Hi, in this video I'll be demonstrating how to replace the knob on a gas stove or an electric stove. Now in this case the knob has already been removed. I'll quickly demonstrate how to remove the knob if the knob has not been removed. The first thing I need to do is just inspect it. Is there any screw that's on the side? Sometimes there's a screw on the side that needs to be removed. For example, some knobs actually have a screw embedded in the knob which needs to be loosened before you can remove the knob. So if there's a screw, loosen the screw. In this case, it has a flat head, so I'd have to use a flat head screwdriver. Now, this knob over here has no screws on the side, and all I need to do is grab it with two fingers and slide it out. Notice that I'm supporting it as I go along, and there comes the knob. I must support it when I remove it. That is why I take two fingers and remove it with a balanced force. Sometimes the knob is very tight inside there and you might even need to use tools like pry tools. You can use plastic pry tools because they will not scratch the surface. If you haven't got these type of plastic pry tools, you can also use screwdrivers. Just be very careful not to scratch the surface. You can wrap the screwdriver in tape or a cloth. In this case, still using a very balanced force, I gently peel the knob out using the screwdriver. As you can see, I came from both angles so that the knob never does that. Right, so when removing the knob, make sure it comes out with a balanced force. And now when I need to reinsert the knob, I follow the same principle, making sure that the knob is horizontal as I depress it in. Now in order to reseat the knob, notice that the knob has an orientation. In this instance, it has a flat side. Now if I look inside there, you will see there's also a flat side. Now at the bottom here, there's a flat side. That flat side must mate with this flat side over here. So that means that because the flat side is at the bottom, I need to insert the knob with the flat side at the bottom. So I turn this, keeping the flat side at the bottom, and then I just wiggle it a bit just to see that I'm correct. So I wiggle it a bit and I can see that it's already seating. The reason why I wiggle it is I just make sure that I'm not going to depress it in the wrong orientation. Now it is easy. I just need to depress it using a balanced force once again. The knob is now replaced. Now on this one, it might be a little bit more tricky because there's definitely a flat metal plate there, but there's also a flat side on the top. So in this case, I look at the shape of the whole opening. I can see it is flat, rounding, and then a little bit flat, and then rounding. So in this case, this is still the flat side. Because looking at this over here, I can see there's the flat side, then it goes round and round. So I do not want to get confused here. This is still the flat side, even though there is a flat plate at the back there. I'm still using this as the flat side. After you've installed a new knob, just look down the side to make sure that the profile matches the other knobs to make sure that you have installed it correctly. Test the knob to make sure that it is in the correct orientation, meaning that when I go fully clockwise, it is in this position and there is the adjacent knob and I can see that they are matching. Thanks for watching and cheers.